Hello, friends, and welcome to my new show for Joe's Pub called Queer and Present Danger. Yes, I'm Justin Sayer, and each month I'll be presenting little rants about things that you shouldn't care about. Because let's face it, there's a lot more going on. But why not allow one individual gay man get upset about those things for you? I can tell you that this is appealing to many people who have paid multiple times to come and see me get mad about shit. Apparently, it's like giving a horse peanut butter. He just can't stop gnawing at it. Well, this week, with all everything going on, poor Ruth Bader Ginsburg saying goodbye to us all and leaving us in the lurch, a world run amok, 200,000 people dead. Do you know what I've been upset about these last few days? Can I tell you? Can I tell you? I'm scrolling through my Instagram, which, if I'm honest, if I'm honest, is either actresses of a certain age or men who look almost underage. <laughs> There's a great divide in the content, let's just say, all right? They have to think that perhaps a mother and daughter somewhere share an account. Because it's just bizarre. One side NPR, one side, you know, just pornography. Just, I, I don't even, I was going to say Falcon Studios. I don't even know. Just pure pornography. And I don't know... I used to think that it was kind of like, oh, well, you deserve a little pick-me-up midday. You know, if you want to look, listen, baby, the world's a strange and terrible place right now. And if seeing an open butthole at three in the afternoon when you're checking email helps you out, gives you a little lift in your day, in your consciousness, why not? Enjoy yourself. Be small pleasures. It's like looking at a beautiful flower. How wonderful. So anyway, I'm scrolling through my Instagram, which again, actresses of a certain age, pornography. Uh, and then some friends in like a public library in Detroit that liked my book. So very eclectic, eclectic you will say. But I'm scrolling through and I know that my phone and my computer listen to everything I do. I know that they actually take these memories down. I know that they're stealing from me all the time because I will see ads for things that I want to buy or I talk about. You know, I was t I've been recently teaching and all of a sudden I'm getting all these things about teaching certificates and all that. And I'm like, oh, well, yeah. I see what you're doing, Mr. Machine, controlling me. I see how it's going. Not controlling me that much because I am still dressed like Pippi Longstocking. I have to tell you, side note, and we'll get back to the, the cause at hand, but side note, I don't think I'm ever going to recover from this. Honestly, I don't know that I'm ever going to recover from this because I've been in quarantine, I've been on lockdown for entirely too long. And when I step back into the real world where people are, you know, doing things and living lives and not hold up, I, I, all the fashion rules are off, ladies and gentlemen, because I've been living in calf pans and beaded bags for too long to go back now. I, I just, it's, it's done. It's done. I, I don't know what to say. Because I'm home, and look, this is, I'm alone in this apartment. This is what I put on to talk to people. Can you imagine if you, what I'm going to wear if you invite me to dinner sometime? You know, I'm going to show up with a hoop skirt. I mean, it's insane. It's insane. And again, I'm alone in my apartment. I picked out these glasses because I said to myself, hmm, you know who you want to look like? Brett Summers. Yeah. Yeah. I thought I just want something chunky and obnoxious, which is also the name of my memoir. Chunky. <laughs> chunky and obnoxious. Oh my goodness, which is very true. If I got that in a review somewhere, I'd be like, that is a fair assessment of what this little journey has been about. But anyway, what were we talking about earlier? What were we talking about? What were we talking about? 
Oh, I'm scrolling through my Instagram. See, I knew we would get back. I'm scrolling through my Instagram. And I see calm. Because I've been thinking and I've been saying out loud to myself, I really want to start a meditation practice. We'll get into that at another time. But I'm scrolling through, and last night, and I look at it, and I'm going to tell you, Harry Styles was on. Harry Styles is reading you to sleep and saying calming things so you will surrender to the gentle god of sleep. Right? Harry, Harry Styles of One Direction fame, and now a musician in his own right. Wonderful, wonderful musician. Um... I saw that, and I was so deeply offended, and I'll tell you why. Because, because I'm going to tell you this, and I'm going to just, I'm going to confess up right now. There is nowhere, there's no one on this earth right now who I want to have more sex with than Harry Styles. No one, no one on this world. There, I, you would, if you could show me a, a second, I'll, t I'll take, I'll obviously take it. But yeah, I'm, oh, girl, let me tell you. And I used to feel bad about it because there's, there's a sizable, there's a bit of an age difference. Not going to lie about that. There's a bit of an age difference, and uh, certainly we don't run in the same circles. But, you know, maybe, maybe someday. Let me tell you, if it ever happens, we're going to play this video at my wedding. Because I'll be like, Harry, how cuckoo bananas is this? And he'll be like, yes, I married this woman in a sheet. <laughs> so anyway, so I'm scrolling through and Harry Styles is talking me, trying to coax me into sleep. And I'm like, I, this, I would never fall asleep to this. Because I'd, I'd be like, uh, you know, I'd have some private time with that, actually. Be like, yeah, what is what it what do you wanna say? What is that? Harry. Harry Styles. And that I don't feel as though I don't feel as though that's appropriate for a site that's supposed to be about meditation. I don't wanna be turned on while I meditate. I wanna be talked to somebody. I want like I want Laura Dern to guide me into meditation. You know? I want Tilda Swinton to guide me. I admire them. I don't want to have sex with them. But I love them. I love them. I'd even go for a Holly Hunter. I love Holly Hunter. Let me ask you. Why are you sleeping on Holly Hunter? She's never been any, in anything bad. And with that... <laughs> with that... I had to take a picture of it because I couldn't believe because usually they sleep on it. It's like Ed Harris or one of the guys from Game of Thrones. I'm like, okay, great. But Harry Styles, I'm going to stay up. I'm going to stay all night. I'm going to play it again. I'm going to play it again. And as we've been talking about my wardrobe, I'm going to tell you this right now. If that was playing, I wouldn't be wearing pants. Wouldn't be wearing them. And I wouldn't be ashamed of it. Because you know what? Maybe in some crazy world, Harry Styles sitting alone home tonight thinking god god now i'm playing harry i want you to do that god maybe there's a maybe there's a pot-bellied comedian somewhere sitting alone in a crowded room in a caftan wearing a little too much foundation and a hat and God, that man could love me. But will that man ever find me? And I'll take another drink. I'm going to look at that beautiful butterfly tattoo on his abdomen. And I'll think, God, if only I could find that chubby professional. Oh, where, oh, where is he? And then he stumbles across this video. And lives... You know, magic happens. I don't know what to tell you. It's nice to dream. It's nice to dream. I dream that one day we'll get to go outside again. I dream that one day I might marry Harry Styles. Or that one day things will be a little easier. I hope they were. I hope they will be. Uh, thank you so much for coming in and talking to me tonight. We'll see you every two weeks with a new rant, a little take on something from Queer and Present Danger with Justin Sayer. 
um, subscribe to my oh god should I do all this yes sh uh, subscribe to Joe's Pub at Joe's Pub and watch all their videos on YouTube and you can subscribe to me at Justin Elizabeth Sayer on Instagram whether you're pornography or not <laughs> well, uh, on Instagram at Justin Elizabeth Sayer and my Twitter is Justin Liz Sayer so we'll see you in about two weeks time thank you so much and have a great night